guys i am back it's crystal jordan um i know we just finished talking a few minutes ago but i am already in front of the camera and i figured i might as well knock these videos out uh i am off of work today so i'm just gonna y'all gonna see me in this green a lot today if i feel like getting up and changing eventually i will but for now if you're wondering why i got on the same clothes it's because today is a video day love you ain't changing okay but anyways I came back on here to talk to you guys and give you a wax update. So about two months ago, I made a video telling you guys um, that I decided to go ahead and get my first Brazilian wax after herpes. Now, for those of you who haven't watched the video, please go back and watch because none of this is going to make sense if you haven't watched it. If so, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're back. Um, but I will post that link to that video below. So, I went and I did the Brazilian wax and... Um, my experience was quite interesting. So, you know, when in my last video, I talked to you guys about my fear about waxing with herpes, um, and the fact that, sorry, y'all, my head is itching. The fact that outbreaks, um, that, that shaving was a trigger for my outbreaks for me. And so I decided to try waxing to see if it made a difference. Um, a lot of people had been telling me that waxing was, you know, a, a huge difference maker and a deal breaker when it came to outbreaks for them. Um, some ladies that I have talked to that have similar, you know, triggers for outbreaks, such as, you know, waxing and friction, things like that. I mean, shaving and friction. They said that waxing kind of solved that issue for them. So I wanted to try it. Um, so I decided to suck it up, stop being a big baby and go get my vagine waxed. And this is what happened. So I went to European Wax Center with my sister. She took me, she sweared on this place and was like, come on, girl, you can do it. It's not going to be that bad. They use a special wax, blah, blah, blah. It's not going to stick to your skin. All this waxing terminology I didn't understand, right? So I get there. They assign me a person, you know, we had made an appointment. Oh, by the way, they do give you half off on your first ever wax. Like if you've never been to them, whatever service you get, you get half off. So that was a plus. They had me at that. But I get in there and the lady is like, have you ever done this before? And I'm like, no. So, you know, the um, session was really, really nice, um, really friendly. And she kind of guided me through it. She's like, okay, this is what you're going to do. You're going to take off your pants. You're going to take off your underwear. You're going to get on the table. And I want you to lay in a butterfly position. So for those of you who don't know what a butterfly position is, basically, I have on a skirt right now, so I can't do the butterfly position. I didn't, I didn't think about that before I, I did this video, y'all. Sorry. So I'm going to use my hands as an example. So these are your legs, right? These are my legs. She wants, she was like, basically, you take your legs and we want you to bring them like this. You guys know, like froggy style, right? And put your feet together. So this is what my legs look like. The way that y'all see my arms are how they made me do my legs, right? And lay there like that. And basically, it's just like, whatever you do, don't move from this position or you'll mess up your wax. So I'm like, okay, whatever you say. So they basically started me off. But she's like, first thing they're going to do is take some alcohol pads and just kind of wipe you down to remove the oils and stuff from your body. Cleanliness, all that stuff. Cool, no problem. Then they did some kind of cream or something like that to prevent ingrown hairs, I think. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I don't remember all the steps, but I just remember there was some prepping done to my panache toi before the wax was applied. So anyway, skip all that. They do all this prep work. She walks me through it. Um, all these preventative things, right? So she's kind of talking to me. The first rip wasn't that bad. It was like on the side, like like over here. It was like on the side, right? Um, so I was kind of like, you know, bikini, bikini line. It wasn't that bad, and I'm like, hmm, okay. It's not as bad as I thought it was. Everybody made it seem like I was gonna die. That second rip, I almost kicked that lady in her face. Okay, that second rip was like on the top, I almost kicked that very nice lady dead in her face. So I jumped. So remember, they had me froggy style. I did like this. Like your natural reaction is to, you know, jump and move your legs. She's like, no, 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 you can't do that. Because when they're waxing you, like if she started with the bikini area, she may have put wax right here first and then wax across the top. And while the one, the second one was sitting, she's ripping the first one. So... While she was doing this one, there was another one sitting over here on the side. So when I jumped, she's like, you can't do that because you're folding the wax. You're going to mess up your wax. At this point, I gave zero fucks. 
excuse my language, but that's how I felt. I did not care about wasting up my wax. I was about to get off the table. She talks me down. I calm my nerves. I get up there. But at this point, I'm like crying. Like it hurt that bad, y'all. I'm crying. So we finish the wax uh, or we finish most of the wax. You know, they, they do everything. They get in between all up in your business. If you don't like people in your business like that, then waxing is definitely not for you. Um, if you're extremely body conscious, you may want to reconsider because there is a total stranger all up and through your vagina if you want a full Brazilian wax. Um, they get in between your lips. They get on the side. They even get in between your butt. Um, and so you have two options. So I'll tell y'all about that. When you, when you get to the booty, you have two options. You can bring your knees up and hug your knees like this. All the way to your chest and they wax your booty strip or you have the um option of turning around hands and knees like doggy style and just toot that thing up i chose not to toot that thing up to a total stranger so i hooked my knees um so that was it wasn't painful it was just really weird to have someone that i did not know all the way down there and in between my booty cheeks um but I felt all slippy slidey when I was done. So it's over. They also wipe you down again. They like some after wax type stuff. Put another preventative um, cream on you. Like she said it was supposed to prevent like ingrown hairs. Um, and then they tell you to come back in exactly four weeks. So this, if you come back in four weeks, you know, it won't hurt as bad. She reassured me that, you know, it only hurt so bad because I was coming from shaving. And that, you know, as I did it more and more, I would be fine, right? So I leave out of here. I'm feeling great. I feel like I conquered the world. Now, because let's talk the herpes side of it. I have scarring from outbreaks. Um, from when I first before I was first diagnosed, and I didn't know I was having outbreaks. Uh, you know, I told you guys shaving is a trigger. So for me, I would get these bumps, and I thought they were ingrown hairs or that they were razor bumps, and I would pop them. My pimple popper, right? That caused scarring. So for me, the most painful part of waxing was that top area where the scars are. So my skin was extremely tender. I was really worried about getting an outbreak. I came home. I slapped products on left and right. Okay. And I will actually give you guys the products um, that I slapped on to prevent having the outbreak. Um, so... One of the products that I put on, you know, I first of all, I went to my Old Faithful. I went to my tea tree oil, my coconut oil, and I sat that thing on there like, no, no, no. We're not today. We ain't got time for that. Then I, I felt the tingling sensation. I felt the itching like it was coming. And I decided to step it up a notch. So, great friend of mine named Elise Bybee has a product line for herpes, product, um, for herpes outbreaks. And she has a product called Speed Me Up. I slapped that speed me up all over my jean and my booty. Like, get in there. Like, I was not with the foolishness. It shut everything down. So, I was really, and I also used um, It Be Gone as a spray. Um, and she also has a soap called Washout. And I use that as well when I took showers. So, using that kind of sucked up whatever outbreak was brewing. And I didn't have any issues after that. So, I know everybody's biggest question was, you know, did I have an outbreak after waxing? Did it set it off? The answer to that is technically no. Having an outbreak after waxing because of waxing was not a thing, right? Um, however, I have what people call spiritual outbreaks or what I call spiritual outbreaks. So at this time I had a lot going on. First of all, my period came like right after the waxing and um, my period is a trigger for outbreaks. So that's why I was like, no, 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 not today. I slept everything on. Um, but I had a whole lot going on uh, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Um, I did some fasting. I made some huge decisions spiritually. And this, I kid you not, you guys, it happens every time I go through this and I make decisions like... Like, when I'm like, God, uh, I know you want me to do this, da, 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 and I'm having these deep conversations with him and making these decisions. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> okay, sorry, y'all. So, every time I have these big decisions to make, and every time I'm like, okay, God, I know you told me to do this, but it's how I feel about it. Like, me and God be having some real conversations, y'all. 
I talk to him like he's my homie because he is. And I'm like, I know you say I do this, but I don't want to do it. And da, 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 da. So I made some big decisions. Every time that's going on with me, I kid you not, I have an outbreak. Like, I have pretty much learned to expect it. So I wasn't paying attention to the fact that that was going on. And I had an outbreak, and I'm like, oh, crap. This is where I set off outbreak. I ain't doing it no more. Then it took me. Then I kept having them back to back to back. I kid you not, y'all. It was like, every time I thought it was going to get better, it got worse. It was like, sorry, it was like, nope. Nope. That break. Nope. Oh, you thought, oh, sorry. Like, that's how it kept coming back to back. Um, Literally for like two months straight. Yeah, I just got over outbreak. So, like two months straight. Um, So, I realized. Uh, about two weeks ago that it was not the wax because I was like oh my gosh I can't even go back like I'm at I got to the four week point and it was time for me to go back and I could not go back because I kept having these terrible outbreaks and I to the point where I got desperate and I didn't know what to do y'all know I don't take bow tricks I took some bow tricks and they do nothing but piss me off um but I tried it like that's how desperate I was that I literally I I went to the emergency stash of Valtrace and was like, well, let me try and see if it helped. Y'all ain't do nothing. It was a waste of time and a waste of pills. And I just stopped taking it because I was not about to have a yeast infection for no reason. Like, Valtrace gives me yeast infections. I don't use it. And it usually doesn't work on me. Um, but I was willing to risk that and try to get rid of these consistent outbreaks. And when it didn't work, I shut it down before it gave me a yeast infection. So, in the process of having multiple outbreaks i have not returned to waxing um because i literally just stopped having outbreaks and i'm hoping it stays that way i'm gonna give it a few days and if it stays that way then i will go back to waxing um because i do want to see how my body reacts to it again i kind of feel like now that it's been almost two months i'll be starting all over but really nothing i can do about that we'll see i don't want to shave because i know shaving is going to set another outbreak off and I am well past tired of having outbreaks, y'all. Love y'all, but I'm I'm over it. So for those of you who are having back-to-back -back outbreaks, I feel your pain. I am over it. No, you are not alone. And know that it happens to me, too. I'm very good at preventing them. I'm very good at keeping them to a minimum. But this go-around, they kick my behind. Um, But I'm kind of glad that happened because in the process of that, I got real creative, y'all. And I started coming up with stuff. Um, and I was able to actually create a product. I'm going to launch it pretty soon um, for my outbreak. So I created a mask. I created a mask for outbreaks. And I literally, just like you make facial masks, I created a mask for my vagina. Okay. And I literally took an old makeup brush that I don't use anymore. Uh, I made a, uh, it was a special mask and I loaded it with turmeric. Um, everything was all natural. I don't put anything on my body that's all nat that's not all natural. Um, and I literally painted it on my body. Like anyone who, like if you were a fly on the wall, you would look at me like I was crazy, but I was at this point and I didn't care, but I'm glad I did it because it worked. Um, so I literally made it, I got in my kitchen, just kind of played around with ingredients, made a turmeric mask and I painted it on my body. Um, and I just left it there for like 30 minutes. I laid in the bed like this, 30 minutes, letting the air out, letting the mask dry on me. And then I got in the shower and I washed it off. Um, and then I also exfoliated just to like try to help it along. And it worked. Um, I saw a big difference in my outbreaks over the, like, the next day and the next couple days after that. Um, so I just kept doing it until it went away. Um, so, I'm actually going to be providing you guys with the information to get the turmeric mask for me. If you would like to, I can make it for you and I can ship it to you. Um, you guys will be able to order that on my website very soon. Um, and I guess also, well, now that we're talking about the turmeric mask, I can go ahead and let you know that I actually launched a cosmetics line. The turmeric mask was never intended to be a part of the cosmetics line. But since I came out, you know, since I figured it out and... Um, wanted to let you guys use it i decided to go ahead and add it to the cosmetics line so cosmetics line is called kissed by grace cosmetics it's kissed k-i-s-s-e-d by like by me grace cosmetics 
Um, so I will also be dropping the link in the bio for you guys in the description box for you guys to um, go in and do that. So lips are kissed by grace today. Um, and I'll be giving you guys lip glosses, liquid lipsticks. There's going to be, um, some facial care stuff in there. I'm going to throw in the turmeric mask. The thing that I like about this mask is it's great for outwards, but you can use it for anywhere on your body. Like I said, it's all natural. Um, it isn't only good for outbreaks, but it's also good for brightening your skin. So I know a lot of us have hyperpigmentation going on, like under our arms, um, you know and our genital areas um so i did also notice a brightening effect with that because i have hyperpigmentation um that it kind of it helps restore your skin back to its natural color and get everything kind of even toned all over i'm not saying it's going to do this in one swoop because it's not it's a consistent thing um but i'll also be offering you know some sugar scrubs some salt scrubs just things to get your body right things to make you feel nice um, so you guys please check that out like i said i'll be dropping the link in the description below if you guys have any more questions um or concerns about waxing with herpes please drop them below i love to hear your questions if you guys have suggestions for sorry my brightness went down um if you guys have any suggestions for waxing with herpes and preventing outbreaks or if you guys have a story you want to tell me feel free to drop those in the description box below too love you guys talk to you later bye bye